Alright, hello everybody and welcome to another Elevator Parts video. Today's video we are going to be working on some fixtures that I have had probably more requests for than anything else. That's right, we're going to be working with Schindler MT today. So in front of us here we have two pretty epic Schindler MT call buttons here. You see we have an intermediate and we have a terminal with the fire service key switch. So today in this video we're going to break down these buttons and see exactly how they work and I'll show you how to wire both of the buttons. Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and start off with the intermediate button. And we'll take a closer look at these because we've all seen these before. And if you've ever pressed these before, you know exactly how these buttons feel. And they feel pretty awesome. Very light, very easy to press. So let's go ahead and see how these actually work from the back. So if we turn the button to the side, we can see that the back side sticks out pretty far. We've got the circuit board on the back here and the little connector right here. To remove the circuit board, there's these two black pins and you simply just pull them apart and the board comes right out. And taking a closer look at the button, you can see there's a lot of just empty room here. This area is kind of wasted space. We've got these two screws that hold the button down onto the frame. Over here, we can see the little part for the light, which is that little plastic piece up there and we have the button right here. And if you wanna remove the button, you press in on these two plastic things, and then the button pops right out. Now to remove the front, you have to unscrew these two screws. Once you've taken the two screws off, you simply remove this plastic piece, which is what holds the button in place. And then the entire assembly comes out. And finally, to remove the little light piece, there's a little opening on the top, you simply just use a small screwdriver to press in on that piece of plastic, and it pokes right out. So here we have all of the parts that make up an MT button. And we're gonna take a look at each one individually. So first we have the small little light piece. And this is what you see light up on the button. Just a very small thin piece of plastic. It's hollow on the inside. And it has a little piece of plastic on there to latch in with the button. Next we have the actual button itself. It has that very definite look that we all know for Schindler MT. If we flip it over on the back, you can see the part that actually hits the contact. You see the little uh, little worn off piece there. And we also have the little pins on the side which latch it into the button. Here's what actually holds the button in place. This slides down into the frame and then the screws go in. Here we have the housing for the entire button. You see we have the arrow right here which is glued into place. We've got the hole for the button right here and the little hole for the little light piece. If we turn it to the side, here's the hole which the light piece locks into. And this little gap here is where this piece slides down into, and you would put your screws in here to hold it into place. It's interesting how this is held in with just these two little things of plastic. And here we have the little circuit board. On the side here, you can see the model number of the board. Here we have the connector where you'll hook the wires up to. Down there you can see Schindler 1994. Turning the board over, we can see the front side and the actual contact and the three little LEDs. We have a few resistors and transistors here. Here we have the little micro switch. This is what does all the work when you press in the button. The button itself presses right here and it presses down on this little metal arm which activates the switch. One thing that's interesting to note is the only thing that presses the button back is this switch. There's no spring or anything else in there. It's just this button that gives the button its springiness. And finally up here at the top we have the three red LEDs which light up the little bar. So this is definitely one of the more interesting buttons. Very simple to work with, pretty simple to take apart. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to clean up the buttons themselves, take this dirt off here. I'm gonna remove the other button from the panel because I'm going to do some work on the actual metal. We're gonna get the paint off that's all around the sides and then I'm gonna just clean it off and get all the fingerprints and stuff off the panel. And then I'll put it all back together and we'll get started with wiring. you can see this button is nice and shiny. Got a few scratches on it, which that's just gonna have to stay. All right, the first button is put back together, but let's go ahead and take a look at the second button real quick. Mainly this key switch in particular. We've seen how the button works, but let's see how the fire service key switch works. So on the outside here, it says fire service. We have on, off, and bypass. We use this key here. There is it on the on position there it is on the bypass and it has a very nice click 
Very nice solid click between turns. Now if we turn it to the back, we can see just how this key switch works. It's held down very similar to the buttons with this little plastic piece holding it down. Here's the actual contact for the switch. And we've got this just random screw over here which is holding it out. That's really weird. So if we look really closely here, I've never actually seen this before, but it says lock. And if we slide this little red pin down like that, you can just pull off the actual contact for the switch. And down below we can see the key switch itself. And if I put in the key and turn it, you can see it turns the little plastic piece right there. I'm not gonna take this whole thing out. I don't think that's very necessary because we can pretty much see exactly how this works and how it's being held in place. To place the contact back on, you'll notice there is one pin that is smaller than the four right there. And that makes it so you can only put it on a certain way put it on there and you slide this little red thing in place and it's locked down, ready to go again. So now we're going to start wiring. And before I start wiring, I'm gonna quickly restore this button. Don't think I need to really show you guys how I did that because it's pretty much the same as this. I'm gonna take the paint off to uh, clean up the buttons. Pretty simple process. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with the wiring. So the wiring is gonna differ based on what kind of button you have. So if you're actually interested in looking to wire one of these, we have two different types we're gonna work on today. The first one's an intermediate where we're going to have to connect them together and then to a battery. And then this one over here is the single button. So we'll hook it up to a battery, but we're also gonna make it where this key switch turns on the, the lights. So we'll start off by wiring the intermediate button first. All right, so these buttons can be wired up using a nine volt battery. So the first thing you'll need is a nine volt battery clip. So you just want to get yourself a few extra wires so we can connect everything together. So looking at this circuit board, we have five connectors. Now from the left to the right, you're going to start off with the negative connector from your battery, and then a wire that connects the second and third connector together. And then on the fourth pin, you will put the positive connector of your battery pack. Now since we are connecting two buttons together, you're going to want to connect the first pin of both buttons and the fourth pin of both buttons together, as shown here. Let's go ahead and put this together and see how it works. We finished wiring this first button and now we're gonna go ahead and plug a battery in and give it a test All right, so we got a battery hooked up to it and it works. Wow, that looks really awesome All right, so now we're going to wire this single button again We're going to use a 9 volt battery clip and you're gonna to want to get some extra wires to hook everything together Now if you're only doing a button You'll just need the small wire to connect pins 2 and 3 together now if you're like me where you want to use the key switch you're gonna need some extra wires. Now, wiring the key switch is a little interesting. So just from doing my tests on this particular switch, pins one and two are for the recall position, and five and six are for the on position. Now, it may be different based on your switch. It could be a little different, so it's definitely something you'd have to test, but just from this particular switch, that's the case. So that's how I'm going to wire it accordingly. So let's go ahead and wire this thing up. All right, so if you only have one button and this is all you want to do with it, that's all the wiring you need to do. Hook up a nine volt battery and you're good to go, it'll work. Now, if you're like me and you wanna hook up the fire service switch, like I said before, have to add an additional wire. What you'll want to do is bring the wire off of this red pin here, so pin number four, to the one end of the switch. And then the other end needs to go to, it doesn't actually matter which one of these green ones, but pin two or three, so it can light up the LED. Alright, so the wiring for this button is finished. You can see I've hooked up the key switch to this, so when you activate it, it turns on the light. So now we need to test this one. Put in a 9 volt battery and make sure it works. Alright, so we put a battery on it. Let's go ahead and test it. So you're pressing the button, you see it lights up. We insert our key. Turn it on, it lights up. Turn it to bypass, it turns on. So everything works as it should. All right, so there we go. That is a breakdown and wiring tutorial of Schindler MT. Like I said, this was a video that was requested a ton by you guys, so hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something from it, hope you found it interesting. As always, give your guys' ideas in the comments below for more of these videos. 
And thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.